I would like up first to introduce our co-founder and CEO Adrien, who will kick off Botify Connect with his keynote address. Thank you, Benoit. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. So I'm Adrien Menard. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Botify. Um, so yes, I want to extend a very warm welcome to Botify Connect 2023. It's great to be here in this amazing city on this beautiful venue. Good job, marketing team. I really like the place. That's fantastic. But first of all, I would like to uh, express my gratitude to everyone here. So whether you are joining as a guest, as a speaker, or as a customer, I know how precious your time is. So on behalf of the Botify team, thank you. Thank you for being here today, and thank you for being part of the Botify story. <coughs> so every spring, I sit with the team to define the theme for Botify Connect. And we almost always have some debates about what to focus on. But not this year. This year was easy. Why? Simply because every client, prospect, or partner we met with had the same questions. How to adapt? How to adapt the SEO priorities, the SEO organizations, the SEO investments to a rapidly changing search landscape. So these very valid questions inform the theme for uh, this year's Botify Connect, which is, as you know, being found in a era of search disruption. So my presentation today is all about navigating this changing landscape, which I will explore from three perspectives. First, the fundamentals. What has not changed despite all of these disruptions and uncertainties? Second, the evolution. What is already changing? And thirdly, our prediction on what might change in the search ecosystem. <coughs> So, fortunately, not everything has changed. And I actually believe that some fundamentals that are perhaps even more important now than ever. Search. Search has always and always will be central to our digital lives. We are all searching, all the time, anywhere, and on any topics. It's a basic human desire to search for answers, commercial or otherwise. I can tell you, this is not going away. Can you imagine that Google alone processes about 8.5 billion searches every single day? This is based on three to four searches per user daily. Search is of course big business too, for our customers, but also for the global economy. Search not only impacts the digital world, it contributes to the offline economy too. The vast majority of shoppers use search before making a purchase, regardless of the channel. And every day, new searches are reflecting human interest and curiosity shaping economic trends. But organic search is not only a source of traffic acquisition or revenue generation. It's also a unique source of brand trust and authority. Here are a few statistics from independent research we conducted this year in the US and the UK. This trust and authority all through, whether we are talking about a list of blue links or direct answers offered by large language models. For brands, this is a golden opportunity to attract customers 
and build sustainable brand loyalty. Now, I'm sure that everyone in this room knows that SEO is a complex process that relies on the integrity, the quality, and relevance of the data to be effective. If tomorrow we are only optimizing websites for a fully generative AI experience, the basic will remain the same. Garbage in, garbage out still applies. Consequently, relevant and unique content will become more important than ever. <coughs> so, I've been working in uh, organic search for more than 15 years. And as a true SEO passionate, I don't think there has ever been a better time to be in our space. The rising cost of paid advertising makes it impossible for most companies to, re to keep exclusively relying on paid. Data shows a big increase in cost and a big decline in conversions. It's also becoming increasingly difficult for marketers to accurately measure the impact and return of their paid advertising campaigns. These factors are driving even greater focus on SEO. And indeed, a recent Gartner report uh, <coughs> sorry, indicated that 45% of CMOs consulted were investing in SEO as a number one priority, above paid and above social. And believe it or not, a number of tier one companies have started to place their trust almost entirely in organic and brand marketing strategies, reducing the reliance on paid advertising. For me, it's clear that the tide is turning and there is a unique opportunity for organic visibility to become the most profitable and sustainable marketing channel for every business in the world. At Botify, we are on a mission to help make this happen. Let's now look at uh, what is already rapidly evolving in our space. <coughs> so, when I'm asked about what we do at Botify, I usually answer that we are problem solvers. Trust me, everything starts with the problem our customers are facing. And the number one problem raised in every conversation is the delay between identifying an SEO problem and implementing the solution. This is no longer the case. Botify has enabled SEO teams to implement optimization in a fraction of the time they used to. Let me share with you a few customer examples. <coughs> Here, a leading global cosmetic group cut down implementation times from six months to two weeks, impacting the revenue generated by the website almost immediately. <coughs> Here we see an outstanding example of site indexability improvements leading to more organic visits in a very short period of time. In just one month, this customer experienced unmatched organic traffic and revenue growth. And finally, the results experienced by this large sports retailer are pretty amazing. In only three months, they increased their call volume by 50%, leading to a more efficient annexation, higher SEO traffic and revenue. 
<coughs> so yes, the future is already here. Velocity SEO is now a reality. And I truly believe this trend will only continue to accelerate in the future. The second biggest problem raised by customers is the challenge of quickly and reliably measuring the ROI of organic search. But the good news is that this is also changing. As you may have seen in the news, Botify recently announced a new measurement benchmark model for confidently calculating the return on organic search spend, otherwise referred to as ROS. <coughs> Early testing with the model has demonstrated three to five times greater ROI than ROAS. Figures such as these are probably not surprising to everyone in this room, but having a tool to measure them, maybe. We'll be exploring the question of ROI in a dedicated session later today. The generative AI revolution has totally transformed the way we interact with technology, launching an age of conversation rather than manual inputs. This is influencing every domain, including SEO, of course. The conversational interfaces of being unbarred are perfect examples um, of that. <coughs> They are already revolutionizing the search user experience in ways we have never seen before. It is imperative that we adapt to this emerging reality, including controlling the degree of access LLMs have to branded web content to ensure a mutually beneficial relationship. So I remember, in Botify's early days, a mentor once told me that the most challenging aspect for a software company is to constantly align company priorities with the rapid innovations within the space. These insights remain profoundly true for me today. I anticipate that the pace of innovation will accelerate even further with the proliferation of generative AI. As a leading software company within the SEO space, it's truly captivating to witness this revolutionary shift and to actively participate to this transformative journey. I could not be more enthusiastic about what lies ahead. And to be candid, what we have been experimenting within the past few months is only the initial phase of what is yet to come. So, as I mentioned, I would like to conclude with our top six predictions for the future of SEO. Of course, I'm not a fortune teller, and nothing is for certain. But I hope these predictions give you a sense of the types of challenges and opportunities Botify will continue addressing. <coughs> so, prediction number one. Human creativity will not be replaced by AI. AI will learn from humans to enhance and enrich content more and more, and vice versa. Prediction number two, AI-powered recommendations. <coughs> Both content and technical will become integral to every SEO strategy. Our SEO industry is also going to have its own revolution and AI-powered recommendations will put the edge of SEO analytics behind us. Prediction number three. 
SEO process automation will become standard. As an SEO practitioner, you cannot scale humans, and you cannot outpace a boat. But, and I'm sure you know that, you'll still be required to do more with less. So it means that SEO automation may be, must be embraced by those who want to continue being found. Prediction number four. A standard measurement for the ROI of SEO will become a reality. As mentioned earlier, the possibility of both demonstrating and measuring the value of SEO as a performance marketing is now within our grasp. I'm convinced it will become a standard reference for all marketers once it is adopted. Prediction number five. The blue links are not going away until they do. Who today can say what a search engine result page will look like in three years from now? Anyone? It's likely to be a combination of various sources of information, including blue links, different media, and generative AI boxes. What we can guarantee is that we will have to adapt our SEO ranking monitoring tools to evaluate share of voice or market opportunities. Prediction number six, new models, new approaches, and more disruptions will continue to reinvent the search industry. Large language models are too expensive to be sustained with the current advertising model on volume of search queries. This means that established players will need to adapt their business models to preserve profitability. So for, ex so for example, they may introduce paying subscriptions. In the same time, we are also seeing new challengers emerging with new approaches, their own business models, or their own search user experiences. One thing is for sure, the search ecosystem will continue to evolve. So, as I said, I don't know for sure if all these predictions will become a reality. But I can tell you that finding the best answers to concrete questions will be at the heart of the digital economy in the coming years. <coughs> and I can promise there is one thing that will remain the same, Botify's commitment. Botify's commitment to helping all our customers <coughs> keep pace with change and meet the demands of their customers in the new search era. We have already entered this new search era probably one of the most exciting period in the history of the internet. And I truly believe that together we can enter it with confidence. So thank you. Thank you again for being here today. I hope everyone will enjoy Botify's Connect as much as we enjoyed preparing it. Thank you. <laughs>